In this video, we'll see how to add a web page to your dashboard and what are the uses. We'll also see how to add a logo or how to add a text to your dashboard. Let us see that. I'm working in the workbook named as dashboard web page. And right now, these are the different sheets which I've created. Running total sales by salary, sales by category, state sales. Now, if I want to create a dashboard, just click on this plus sign, a dashboard, dashboard would be created. From this objects, I can just pick up this web page and I can drop it here itself. And when I drop it, I'll get a URL that is edit URL. Whatever URL you want, you can just insert it. So I'll type here as www.google.com. It will work same like your browser, Chrome, Mozilla, Internet Explorer, everything. So I'll just click on this OK button here. And this is the same browser, you know, same page which you see that on the browser. Whatever you want, you can just type as tutorials point. I'll select and press enter. And these are the things related to the website. Whatever searched you have done, everything you'll be getting at this place. And simply you have to just scroll down so you want you can see entirely it's there's no difference in this place what are the uses of this thing let us see that first of all i'll just close this entirely close this web page here what are the uses suppose if i want to add here state sales if you see these are the sales done by different states and here if you see the dark blue color says highest sales the light blue color says lowest sales so if i want to add this data into my dashboard so the name of the sheet is state sales click on this dashboard, pick up this state sales and drop it here. Now I'll just use the option as web page and drop it here itself like this. And now I'll say I want to search some, you know, URL itself. What URL I'll search? Suppose if I want to find out the information related to any state. So I'll be using Wikipedia itself. So I need to enter the Wikipedia URL. So first of all, I'll just go to this browser and I'll search for Google and then if I want I can search for something like California like this and this is the Wikipedia page anything you search you'll get this Wikipedia page now what you have to do is you have to simply copy this entire URL like this I'll select this press ctrl C and now I'll go to my tableau and I'll paste it ctrl V okay so what I've done is when I press ok button here this web page will open that is California so I'll just click on this ok button here Okay, and if you observe the California page is open in the Wikipedia and if I scroll down, you'll be able to see the entire details here. Now what I want, what is the use of adding the web page? Suppose if I select any option from here, it should be reflected at this place. How do I do the changes inside? So for that, I have to use the actions part. Suppose if I select Washington, it should display me the data related to Washington. Let's see how to work on that. So first of all, I'll add the action. So I'll go to worksheet. I'll go to this dashboard click on this actions and the URL that's the dialog box will open. So I'll just click on this add action and select as URL. So what will happen is anything if I select in the dashboard that is the source sheet in the dashboard one I have state sales. If I select anything on this place like this one, what it should do is it should open a URL. What URL it should open. So I'll just press control V the same thing what I've done there. But now I don't want only California. I want different pages here. So what I can do is I can just remove this URL from here and from this drop down, if I click on this drop down, I want state wise sales. So I've selected state wise sales, which are given. So here any state, if I select that will be changed, the change data will be searched in this Wikipedia itself. And I'll just click on OK and I'll click on OK. All right. So now I'll just click on this unpin button. So it comes here. So if you observe here, if I select Washington from this place, the data has been shown as Washington. If I select as New Mexico, so if you see New Mexico details have been given here. So if you want, you can just scroll down and you can just surf the entire data itself. That is the use of using web page into your dashboard itself. That is one method. Let's see some more. Now, if I want to add along with the web page, if I want to add the company logo, so I can use this option as image. So just click on this image button here, or you can just drag and drop it here itself. It will open the dialog box which image do you want so i have just downloaded the company you know url that's a logo here select this logo here and i'll just click on this open button here so that is the company logo which i have now if i want i can add the web page below of this if i want i can add some text at this place so i'll just pick up this web page and i'll drop it here itself yeah this way and i'll type the url www.tutorialspoint.com and click on ok done so this way I can keep on, you know, modifying my data. Same way, if you want to add some text, you can just pick up the text and you can drop it here itself. And whatever text you want, you can just add as 
Q12's point. I'll change the size, make it bold, center alignment, and then I'll click on OK. So if you see here, I'm getting this tutorial's point. Still, you can modify and make it in a better manner. If you want to modify, if you want to stretch it, you can just pick up and you know scroll it on the top like this. And this way you can work on this. So adding an image, adding a logo, writing some text, and adding a web page. These are the things which you can work with this you know dashboard itself. I hope you have understood. That's all for this video.